Next week promises to be the most significant presidential primary in New York's history in more than three decades, and John Kasich is continuing to push his message of blue-collar modern conservatism across the state. The Ohio governor has held town halls in Troy, Saratoga Springs, and Watertown this week. A quick glance at the delegate count would suggest that Kasich is simply making up the numbers at this point. But given the fact that it appears increasingly likely that no Republican candidate will secure enough delegates to win outright, a contested convention is becoming more likely. And at that point, all bets are off. Seth Abramson joins us now. He's a political contributor to the Huffington Post and an assistant professor at the University of New Hampshire. His most recent headline, John Kasich will be the nominee with Marco Rubio as his running mate. Welcome, Seth. Thanks for having me. So first off, um, with Kasich trailing Trump by, what is it, like 600 delegates at this point, how on earth could he possibly make up those numbers? Well, he won't be able to make them up before the convention, but it does seem increasingly likely that Mr. Trump won't be able to secure the nomination before Cleveland. And as a result, John Kasich will go in with uh, as much of a chance as Trump and Cruz once you get past the first ballot. And at that point, I suspect he'll team up with Marco Rubio to get more delegates. All right, so then that alone, I'm sure, has a lot of people scratching their head because Marco Rubio just said, and his quote was that he was nobody's vice president. So how does that work with him joining the Kasich ticket? Well, I think we've heard those sorts of denials before, and I suspect that things will look very, very different once Cleveland rolls around, and it's clear that Mr. Trump is not going to be the nominee, and it's clear that though Mr. Cruz will have loaded up a lot of the state delegations with his own people, that he won't have enough to get in on the second ballot. And at that point, I think it really is an open race, and there will be a clamor for a unity ticket. I think uh, John Kasich and Marco Rubio, who at that point could have as many as 500, 600 delegates to start with between them, would be in a good position to get that third, fourth, or maybe even a fifth ballot. And I wonder if that's a possibility why he's still holding on to his delegates. But moving on from Rubio, um, there's also been a lot of talk behind the scenes that uh, Speaker Paul Ryan is positioning himself to take the nomination. I think it's unlikely that someone who has not run at all in this election season will sweep in at the last moment and be a consensus pick of 1,237 delegates in Cleveland. I think it's more likely to be a combination of two people who the voters have seen, who have been speaking to the voters and getting out their message. So I know there's a lot of talk about Ryan, but I think there'd be resistance to uh, an outsider to this entire election cycle coming in and getting well over a thousand delegates in Cleveland. Um, now, uh, putting the delegates aside, which I realize you can't do in presidential politics, but um, Kasich so far has really only won one state, his own home state, Ohio. And there seems to be, a, let's say, uh, grievances that the Republican electorate has with the party. Um, if there was to happen, something were to happen at the convention where someone who didn't get, let's say, just the majority of the votes from the party base did not get the nomination, how on earth does the party bring everybody together? Well, I think a number of things will have to happen. I do think that Rule 40B would have to be changed at the convention to allow someone who hasn't won eight states to be at the top of the ticket. I do think that the rest of the nominating season will be more favorable to Mr. Kasich, whether or not he can win any of the states coming up. The Midwestern and Northeastern states that are voting should allow him to pick up some delegates. As far as unifying the party, I think the biggest unifying factor for the Republicans right now is Hillary Clinton. If she's the nominee for the Democrats, I think that'll unify the Republican Party quicker than anything else will. Uh, but what about the poll numbers if Bernie Sanders becomes the nominee? If Bernie Sanders becomes the nominee, I think it's a little bit more difficult for the Republicans. All of the Republican nominees actually lose to Bernie Sanders, whereas they don't to, um, to Hillary Clinton. John Kasich actually has never lost a head-to-head -head poll against Hillary Clinton uh, in 2016, wow. whereas Bernie Sanders is beating John Kasich in the polls. He's beating Ted Cruz. He's beating Donald Trump. So I do think Hillary Clinton's the best bet for the Republicans. If it's Bernie Sanders, it'll be an uphill uh, slog, particularly because independent voters that might leave the Republican Party if Mr. Trump isn't the nominee would then at that point swing over to uh, Bernie Sanders. Wow. Okay. Um, so let's imagine that there is a Kasich-Rubio ticket that goes forward. Uh, how does that play out nationally? Well, I think what you have with Marco Rubio, even though he wasn't successful even in winning his own home state, is you have a sort of young, uh, relatively fresh face, he wasn't in the Senate very long uh, before running for president, who is still a favorite among the Tea Party. You have someone in John Kasich, however, who has much more crossover appeal as sort of a common sense Republican. 
I think we have to keep in mind that, and again, we're, we're playing with hypotheticals here, but if Hillary Clinton is the nominee, right now her unfavorables are at about 55%. Uh, generally, that spells real problems for a national presidential campaign. Uh, John Kasich has much higher favorables. In fact, the only presidential candidate running right now who has higher favorable ratings than John Kasich is Bernie Sanders. So again, a Bernie Sanders-John Kasich race would be a difficult one, I think, for the Republicans. But if it's Hillary Clinton versus John Kasich, John Kasich is starting with a lot more support from Americans than Hillary Clinton is. Um, well, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I think this will probably be the most anticipated Republican convention in a very long time. We all wait to see what happens. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.